A very warm welcome to Chosen Hill School. Welcome to all our new Year 7 students and their parents and carers. I'm Kirsten Harrison, the head teacher. I'm really delighted you'll be joining us at Chosen Hill for your secondary education. I'm looking forward to building the learning partnership between you, your child and our school. It's all very strange times and I know we'd much rather all meet first time face to face, but that isn't possible. So we're doing our very best to give you a chance to get us to meet by different remote means. We've prepared a range of different communications and resources to help you transition into our school community. I hope you watched our introductory form, film we launched a couple of weeks ago, where, you, where your primary school teachers thought it could be done safely and it worked with all the things that they were trying to do with you to have a last few good weeks at primary school. You may have met Miss Moss, the Year 7 lead, already face to face to answer your questions about starting at Chosen Hill. Each faculty, that's the subject areas, has prepared a little introductory film and tour of their faculty to give you a feel of the area and to introduce you to the staff who we will be working with. We've put together a work pack to help us to get to know you before you arrive and hopefully you've been accessing that. Parents should have received a welcome pack that contains all the details you will need about the organisation of the school and all the key information. You should also have received communication already asking you about your Year 7 Modern Foreign Languages choice and arrangements for getting school uniform. So please let the school know if you've not received either of those. We've now received the secondary guidance from the government for full opening in September. And you'll be receiving some detailed documentation about how school will be organised in September to meet the government's health and safety requirements. And this will be with you before the end of the summer term. We will be open to all students in September, but we have set aside the 2nd of September as an induction day for Year 7. On that day, only Year 7 and our new Year 12 students will be coming into school. On the 2nd, we will be undertaking many of the introductory activities with our new Year 7 that we've not been able to do this term. It'll be a chance for them to get to know the school before the rest of the school returns on the 3rd of September. This will be particularly important as the school will be organised differently from how it was prior to lockdown and all students will need to adjust to those changes as long as they are needed. And you may still have questions. We have lots of arrangements in place to keep you informed and help you communicate and access information about what's going on with your child. Email and telephone are the most obvious. Reception is manned to take calls and direct them. The website has all the key detail about school policy and provisions, including a specific section for the new Year 7 transition. And any other additional information that becomes available across the summer will be available via the website. School comms is our key communication tool for sending out messages and letters. Payments, lunch money, all of these things can be done online through the school gateway, which is an app which can be loaded on your phone. I provide weekly updates and newsletters setting out what has been happening in the week and to give advance warning about upcoming events. A parent Google SharePoint launches this September, our virtual learning environment, and again where key documents and information can be accessed, more details will come out to you about that shortly. Show My Homework is our online home learning homework setting tool, which also has a calendar and a student notice board. And your child will be receiving their email and show my homework access passwords before the summer so we can ensure learning can get started even if we face a local lockdown situation. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, again where key messages go out and details about events at the school are shared. And Patch is our Parent Teacher Association, a way to get involved with activities and fundraising at the school and details about that are also on the school website. So don't be worried about finding out what is going on and being able to communicate with us, or even if you've already received too much information in this short film. We are really keen to make communication work, so find out what methods work best for you. Chosen Hill School is committed to helping students develop a growth mindset and resilience, the mindset for successful learning, something that is all the more needed in these challenging times. With that growth mindset, students are willing to embrace tough challenges, develop intrinsic motivation as well as develop that resilience, that sticking power, so crucial to successful learning and to overcome the challenges this period has set for them and us all. We will be actively supporting students to recover from this difficult period. 
All subjects have reviewed their curriculums to enable a recovery programme for knowledge and skills. And we've planned social, personal and mental wellbeing capacity to support alongside this. Primary schools have been letting us know what they haven't been able to cover at the end of year six, and we are planning with this knowledge for September. We know that this period of COVID-19 lockdown has been a tough time for all, and particularly for year six, missing out on many of the year six traditional leaders events. But I'm looking forward to working with you and your sons and daughters both in September and going forward to give them the very best start to their secondary school careers. In particular, I look forward to watching them develop from the children they are today to the older adults they will become over the next seven years. I look forward to meeting you in person in September. Hello to all of our New Year 7 students, parents and guardians. Firstly, my name is Ellie Moss and I will be Year 7 lead in September. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to Chosen Hill and I, along with Mr Day, Mrs Allen and Mr Bargett, look forward to working with each and every one of you in the coming months. A normal day for Year 7 will look different in September, but I'm going to talk you through what your day will consist of. Every morning you will arrive in school perhaps by the bus or you may even cycle, walk or get a lift to school. You may cycle to school if this is your plan. Your bike will be kept in the bike sheds, but you must always wear a helmet and cycle safely to and from school. Currently, we have the bikeability course planned for September, which students must complete in order to cycle to school from this date. You will, you will spend 25 minutes in the morning with your learning mentor. They will take the register, give out notices and participate in learning mentor activities such as number ninjas, house quizzes and many more activities. After learning mental time, you will have two one-hour lessons. Make sure you study the map and watch the virtual videos to meet new members of staff. If you need anything from your locker, you must collect this at the start of the day. Next comes break time. This is your chance to have a snack and socialise with new friends that you will meet at Chosen Hill. Following break, you will have two more lessons. At lunchtime, make the most of any opportunities on offer as they will help you contribute to the wider Chosen Hill community. You will have one more lesson and the bell will then go so you make your way home. Once at home, there will be some homework to do. Make sure you get this done, organise your school bag for the next day and get an early night ready for another fun day at Chosen Hill. Chosen Hill shares the same values as I do, that every individual will experience success and starting the transition from primary to secondary school is where this journey begins. From experiencing new lessons and meeting new, new staff members, to learning about becoming resilient, independent and confident individuals. These are all part of the journey through secondary school and it is exciting I get to, be, I get to begin this journey with you in Year 7. We want to develop our students into young people who not only progress academically in school, but who will become whole rounded individuals who will continue to add positi positively to society when they leave school. We are proud to be an inclusive secondary school and want our students to make a positive difference from the day they start at Chosen Hill School. They will be met with challenges along the way, but it is our job to guide them to make the right decisions and thrive throughout their time at secondary school. I look forward to meeting you all in the coming weeks and making a positive and exciting start to your time at Chosen Hill School. Hello New Year 7 parents and carers. I am Kate Stoneman, Inclusion Manager and Senko. As Miss Master has already mentioned, Chosen Hill is an inclusive school that values the contribution that all students can make. The school seeks to raise the achievement, remove barriers to learning and increase physical and curricular access for all. All students with SEND needs are valued, respected and equal members of our school. As such, provision for students with SEND is a matter for school as a whole. I work closely with staff across the school, including teachers, support staff and the pastoral team to ensure that our students maximise their achievements and have their needs met. I am fortunate that I have already met some of you. I am keen to work in partnership with you as parents and carers to enable you to make an active contribution to the education of your child. I also understand the importance of taking the views and wishes of your students into account. We are lucky to have a fantastic and experienced team of learning assistants who will, for many students with SEND, play a key role in their school life. I know they are looking forward to meeting you all soon. 
Where necessary, we work with external agencies to develop understanding and expand the provision and support that we can offer. I am sorry that we will not have had the opportunity to meet with as many of you face to face as we would normally. I hope that if you have had any questions that these will have been answered by the end of today's sessions. But if not, then please feel free to get in contact with us. Have a lovely summer and see you in September.